Hello and welcome to another studio vlog. Studio vlog number 13, lucky number 13. This week I actually have a lot to get done. It's going to be a big week because it is my, getting my kite over on the side, my shop update. So we have a bunch of new prints and sticker designs and postcards going up. This one I actually only just finished last night. I put a time lapse up on the screen if I remember to turn it on on Procreate. But I'm really, really excited. I had a countdown going on Instagram, on TikTok and on Twitter to alert everybody that it should be up five minutes ago. I set it up on my laptop just before starting filming this intro. So the shop update is now live and I hope if everything goes well, I'll have some fun order packing video uh, clips in this video and if not you'll just see me being sad but working on different art. So yeah let's get into it. I will start with some art time lapse and then I'll show you all of the products that I have up in my store now. Enjoy! Here we have all of my active listings. This is just my site on Etsy. If you go to any of the links in the description or it's where you will find them. But I'm now going to draft. So these are the items that I have in my store to get ready to be sold. This is a new sticker design you might have seen on social media. But what I'm going to show you now is just quickly all of the images I created. So these are the soy sauce stickers, which I think are really cute. Then I have the tea ceremony print I just showed you in the intro. Different colors to see which works best. The ramen shop, a Buddhist temple, sticker sheets, right, various different versions. Also like the Hanafuda sticker sheets I showed you in my last video. So now I, all I have to do is hit publish on all of these, publish, publish. So yeah, my store update is live. I have a total of how many new items? One, two, three, four, five, seven new items. And out of these seven, we have two sticker sheets, one like sticker, sticker set you can get one or the other. I also have one, two, three new prints and then one which is a print and a sticker set which was kind of like Valentine's Day themed. It's a lucky cat with a heart and then a daruma, a heart shaped daruma. But I wasn't early enough to actually get them ready for Valentine's Day so I'm just publishing them now. So yeah, everything is up. Let's go check my Etsy store. And there they are. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Am I missing one? Which one's not here? The Kokeshi doll. No, the Kokeshi one, the Hanafuda stamps. There it is. Okay. Okay, it is seven. Makes sense. All seven are here. And the sh shop update was successful. Now we only hope people go get some stuff.
Y'all are crazy. So yesterday I had my shop update at around one and then I did other things. Had, didn't really have any orders come in, but now I woke up with five orders, which for me is a lot. Having like a really small shop, it's as many orders I had all last month. So I filmed the first small ones, made some nice TikToks of that, which I'll be posting later on. Go follow me on TikTok. But now I have to actually restock quite a few of the sticker sheets and the sticker sets that were sold because I didn't actually make that many. So I have them printed and I have my cutter, there it is, open and ready to go. So let's go do that. You are probably sick and tired of seeing these holographic Ghibli stickers. This is also probably the last time. I'll show you in a vlog, but the problem with these is that over the past few times I've made them, my printer, if it's not properly warmed up, sometimes messes up the dark spot, so I have errors, and then sometimes as well, I have a whole pouch of seconds in here as well of them. One time I completely miscut them, and the other time the holographic foil doesn't perfectly adhere, so there's tiny errors on them so I have to sort out a few every batch so now I'm just gonna see if I have enough to make a few nice sets so that I'm in stock and don't have to restock them every single time somebody orders them. Hello, if you hear some construction noise in the background, I hear it too, there's nothing you can do about it. 
It's been making me want to film less and less. But I have some exciting news. You can't really see it on my laptop, but I printed some out, which is that I am currently planning on doing washi tape. I showed these designs off many, many studio vlogs ago, but then I never ordered them because COVID and shipping irregularities and no conventions to sell them at. But I'm finally at a point where my online shop is running smoothly enough, so I felt like it's time to go for it. I have, let me just take you into my hand, been arranging the designs according to the manufacturer. I found their specifications. So as you can see, there's these three lines. The red one is the outer bleed. So this small part here will be cut off. And then the blue line is the actual size of the washi tape. I'm going for the regular 15 millimeter washi tape width. So wait, I have a few on my hand. These are all 15 millimeters. They're actually really cute tapes I have been currently using for packaging to like do tapes on the front and the back and stuff. Need to send it off to the post office. I was today in the morning and there was an issue with this one. But yeah, now I'm rambling. So I have that design, which is kind of no face, soot balls, Japanese wave pattern, purple and dark. Then we have my rainbow Daruma design. Let me just turn on the light. And then we have this one, which is actually my favorite. It's the most simple, but it's an Asanoha um, pattern in the background in like a goldeny yellow. For a short amount of time, I was considering doing that in gold foil, but I think that would be too much. And then I have fans and sakura cherry blossoms and um, origami cranes. So these are the three designs I'm doing. Friends of mine are... Hi, back over here. Friends of mine are also going to be ordering, so I can't get can't wait to get these designed and sent off. Designed, I mean, I still need to do the label. Do I have a wrapped one? Yep. This is a wrapped MT tape. So as you can see, there's a label at the back. I won't be having one of these, but I will be having a label on the front. The MT one just says MT Deco because this is from the Deco series and it has like a pattern on the front. It's actually also an Asanoha tape. It has the same kind of basic traditional Japanese pattern, only mine's in gold and has like more decorative elements. But yeah, I need to do like a decal for the front for all three of these designs, get that sent off. And then hopefully they said it'll take about three weeks for the stuff to get here after it has been approved and sent into production. So I can't wait, it's probably in two or three studio vlogs from now, I get to show you finished washi tape, which I'm really, really excited for because if you know me, if you see my desk tour, you know I have an absurd amount of washi tape. If I order these, I probably have over a thousand, the majority are just personal ones. So yeah, really, really excited to do that. Can't wait. Then I also have stuff to package my own orders with. So, can't wait.